Speaker, scientists working with Ebola, Canada's only level four lab, collaborated with the People's Republic of China Army Major General. Sadly, this story does not end there. Dr. Chu was able to gain access to the lab for students from China, and it gets worse, a scientist from the Academy of Military Medical Sciences, the research arm of the PLA, known to work on biology-enabled warfare. How did so many citizens from a hostile superpower gain access to Canada's top lab? Is it because the prime minister admires China's basic dictatorship? At that moment in time in 2019, the relationship with China was in a different place. The information that was shared was through legitimate channels. It has nothing to do with this issue. Speaker, that minister's comments are reckless and untrue. Before March 31st, 2019, the PRC did not have a containment level four lab. How can I be so specific about the date? This is the date on which a scientist at Canada's top lab, the National Microbiology Lab, ship dangerous pathogens, including Ebola virus, to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. This scientist had a history of visiting and collaborating with the PLA since 2016. When did the Minister of Health and the Prime Minister know about the espionage and blatant violation of our sovereignty? And when did they decide to cover it up? That it is essential when we're dealing with national security to recognize two things. That the party opposite is saying that they would support a partisan interference in the Public Health Agency of Canada that if they were in government, they would see it as acceptable for political interference into that process. Addresses key themes of accountability, authenticity, and transparency in statements made by government officials. It discusses concerns raised by Stephen Ellis regarding potential security risks arising from collaborations between Canadian scientists and their counterparts from China, particularly those with military ties. Questions are raised about the decision-making processes of the Prime Minister and Health Minister regarding collaborations with China and the transportation of hazardous pathogens to the Wuhan Virus Laboratory. There is scrutiny to determine if government officials, especially the Prime Minister and Health Minister, are fully accountable for their decisions and actions in these matters. Allegations of a cover-up suggest a lack of transparency and engender distrust. The article also suggests that references to dates and historical context aim to establish a timeline for accountability. Finally, it highlights the importance of examining whether government officials are truly transparent or defensive in their actions, and whether individuals have the freedom to choose.